When we design web apps, we usually take internet connection as a given. In reality, internet connection won't be consistent, especially for mobile users. The Service Worker API is a useful new browser feature that helps us keep user experience smooth and predictable, even when the user has a poor internet connection or no connection at all. Some of the features Service Worker makes possible for web apps include offline access, allowing limited use of your app without an internet connection, background sync, where network requests can be automatically queued and retried if the internet connection is momentarily disrupted, and push notifications, which can prompt a user to re-engage your app even when your page is not currently active. Similar to a web worker script, a service worker script runs on a separate thread so that its activity doesn't block the main JavaScript thread. Unlike a web worker, a service worker has the ability to intercept network requests. Also, a service worker can run even when the page is not active. In other words, when your user has closed the app. The first use case for a service worker we'll look at is to provide a network proxy, allowing an app to work while the user is offline. While the app is online, the service worker can build the cache of files required for offline access. Then, when the app is offline, the service worker can provide cache responses in place of network responses. To see how this works in action, let's say we're designing a web app with a chat feature. Without internet, obviously the user won't be able to send or receive messages. But we can still allow them to use the app for things that are not dependent on the network, like drafting new messages, searching past chats, and so on. By default, an app will not work without the internet. If you try to access a page, you'll be served the browser's error page. Let's see how we can change this behavior by installing a service worker. In our service worker script, let's begin by creating a cache of files required for our chat app to work offline. We'll define a name for the cache on line one, and on line three, we'll define an array of the paths of the files that we need, including our index.html file and our JavaScript and CSS bundles. When the service worker is registered, an install event is called. This would be a good time to create the required file cache. So on line four, we'll set up a listener callback function on this event. On line six, we'll call the open method of the caches API to create the cache. We'll then use the add all method, which will download and store all of the required files. Finally, we'll call the skip waiting method, telling the worker that it's now ready to be activated. As mentioned, a key feature of a service worker is its ability to intercept network requests. So on line six, we'll set up a fetch event listener. We'll then use the respond with callback of the fetch event. On line eight, we'll first check if the request already has a matching item in the cache. If so, we return that. If not, we continue with the request as normal. Now that we've defined our service worker, we'll need to install it in our main JavaScript app. We'll first check if the Service Worker API is supported in the browser, in case your user is stuck on Internet Explorer. If so, we use the register method, passing in the path to our Service Worker script. With that done, the non-network critical features of our web app will continue to work even if the user accesses the app without internet connection. Another feature of the Service Worker API is called Background Sync. This is where you queue a request to be sent while the user is offline and complete it when the user comes back online. For example, imagine your user is commuting on a train and busily chatting on your app. Suddenly, the train goes through a tunnel and the internet connection is interrupted, so the next message they send will fail and the app will freeze. The workflow for background sync is fairly similar to offline access. When the user makes a request, the service worker will then check if the user has internet access. If they do, the request will be sent as normal to the server. If not, the service worker will wait until internet is back, 
and then send the request even if the user has navigated away from the original page. Another handy feature that is enabled by the Service Worker API is push notifications. Web push notifications are similar to the notifications sent by native apps and are designed to prompt a user to interact with your app while they're not using it. To use push notifications, you'll firstly need to prompt the user with a permission request. This can be done using the push API, which is built upon the Service Worker API. If the user agrees, their subscription information should be sent back to your application server and stored in a database, ready to be used when you want to trigger a notification. In what circumstances would you trigger a push notification? Let's say a user of your chat app receives a new message while they're away from their phone. This might be a good time to alert them of the unread message. To send the push notification, your application server will retrieve the user's subscription information from the database. This information will include the user's assigned push service, where you'll send the notification. The push service will verify the notification's data is from you and route it to your user's device. Once the message arrives on the user's device, the browser wakes up the service worker and the push event is dispatched. The user will then receive a notification on their device, prompting them to re-engage with your app. Offline access, background sync, and push notification are just some of the many possibilities of the Service Worker API. There are other features you can build with a Service Worker, like a load balancer, API analytics, or a virtual server. To see some handy feature recipes, check out the site servicework.rs, which is a free resource created by Mozilla. There are also several new features being added to the Service Worker API. One example is periodic background sync. This will allow a service worker to be activated with a task periodically. A good use case would be to check your server every day and download new blog posts so that they're ready for viewing next time the user accesses the app, even if they're offline. Thanks for watching this video on the Service Worker API and let us know your thoughts in the comments.